day boys and girls. My name is Tashane Williams. Today, we are going to be learning more about addition and subtraction. Do you know how to add and subtract? I bet you do. Our lesson will be on addition and subtraction, but we will be using the number line. Does anyone remember what the number line looks like? On your screen is an example of a number line. As the name suggests, it is a straight line with equal numbers along it, equal distances apart. On this number line, there are numbers 0 to 10. Now that you know what a number line looks like, let's hop along the number line with the bunny. I need you to pay attention to the direction of the hops the bunny makes and the number the bunny lands on. Here, the bunny starts at two, then hops six more times while counting on by one. What do you notice about the number the bunny lands on? If you said the numbers get larger and larger when he hops to the right, you are correct. Let's take a look at the bunny hopping again. This time, the bunny will start hopping from seven, then hops four times backwards or hops four times to the left while counting off by one. What do you realize about the number he lands on this time? You are correct if you said the number he lands on is smaller than the number he started at. Now let's review. Did you notice what happened to the numbers while the bunny hopped along the number line? The numbers get greater when you count on to the right and the numbers get smaller when you count off to the left on the number line. Let us use the number line to add these two quantities. Three added to six. The first quantity is six, so let us start there. Then we will jump three more places to the right. Which number did the bunny land on? You are correct. The bunny landed on the number 9. So 3 added to 6 equals 9. When we add two whole numbers, the numbers get larger except when adding 0. Let's try another problem. 4 subtract 2. The first quantity is 4, so let's start there. Because we are subtracting, the result will be smaller. Well, here we will be subtracting 2 from 4. So the bunny will jump backwards. Which number did the bunny land on? If you said 2, you are correct. When we subtract one whole number from another, the result will be smaller except when subtracting 0. Very good work so far, boys and girls. Let us try some more addition and subtraction problems using the number line. Our next problem is on a domino. Look carefully. There are two numbers represented on the domino. The first quantity is 6, as there are 6 tiny dots, and the other quantity is 4, as there are 4 tiny dots. Let us add these quantities. What is the sum of 6 and 4? On the number line, we will begin at 6, which is the first quantity. Then because we're adding and counting on by 1, we will be making 4 jumps to the right on the number line. Which number do you think we will land on after 4 jumps? Very good. We landed on the number 10. That means the sum of 6 and 4 equals 10. Let's have another go at using the number line. Look at the numbers on the cards. 
The first card has the number 10. Very good. And the next card has the number 6. Okay, we are going to be using the number line to subtract the smaller number, which is 6, from the larger number, which is 10. Because we are subtracting, we will be jumping backwards. So we will be jumping 6 places backwards because we are subtracting 6 from 10. So if we start at the number 10, then jump 6 places backwards, where would we land? We would land on the number 4. Very good, everyone. So, 10 subtract 6 equals 4. I know you enjoy using the number line. Let us try a final problem using our number line. Listen carefully to this problem. Mr. Brown planted 6 banana plants yesterday and 8 banana plants today. How many banana plants did he plant? What will we be doing in this problem? Yes, we will be adding our two quantities, 6 and 8. Where should we start on our number line? Yes, boys and girls, we are going to start at the number 6. Because we are adding, we will be jumping along the number line to the larger numbers. So, we will need to make 8 more jumps. Let's go! Where did the bunny land on the number line? Very good. He landed on the number 14. Excellent. 8 added to 6 equals 14. Very good, boys and girls. I hope you had fun going through our math lesson today adding and subtracting whole numbers using the number line. All the best. Until next time.